In this video, we will be studying about the replenishing nutrients in the soil. See, we all know that the plants require nutrients from the soil in order to prepare their food. Now, plants absorb nutrients from the soil. Right. Now, the amount of nutrients in the soil goes on decreasing as they keep on absorbing the nutrients. Keeps on decreasing. Now as the amount of nutrients in the soil keeps on increasing then there is a question how the soil again gets the nutrient, how the nutrients are restored in the soil. Now if I say in forest these nutrients are naturally restored by decaying of dead plants and animals of dead plants and animals right however if I talk about on the farms the farmer use manure and fertilizers in the soil in order to restore the nutrients in the soil now there are some plants that are known as leguminous plants have you ever heard about the word legumes now legumes these legumes are your dal pulses all your pulses all these are the leguminous plants, your peas, gram, all these are the leguminous plants. Now what these plants have, you all know that your pulses are rich in protein. Now most crop require a lot of nitrogen to make proteins. There is a bacteria known as Rhizobium. Now this bacteria can take atmospheric nitrogen. They do not depend on the rainfall for the nitrogen in the soil. These uh, rhizobium, they can absorb the atmospheric nitrogen and, that, uh, and can convert it into a soluble form that the plants can absorb. Now, rhizobium cannot make its own food. It therefore lives in the roots of leguminous plants. They live in the roots of leguminous plants right now these plants like gram peas and mong where it gets food and shelter it provides them with the nitrogen this is the reason these legumes are a high source of protein now i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us